Hello my country people, welcome to Reality Latest Gist. I greet all of you according to Una time. If today not the first time we we'll be saying you drop by for this channel, you are highly welcome. Thank you very much for stopping by. And to my returning subscribers, I really appreciate all of you now for the massive support to this channel. As I said, they come back to come to watch my videos. I say may God richly bless all of you now in Jesus name. Amen. Yes, my wonderful people, for this channel, we they drop news on daily basis, news all over the world. Nigeria to be precise and we deal on politics and many other gossip where we say they happen and we they react to any video we will see and this one we go they react to this video where sir Femi Kuti do like waiting they happen it go be like film where be say Nigeria go finally divide because we don't suffer like I not feel let my children suffer the suffer where be say we suffer for Nigeria no I beg my people, Nigeria need to divide. I will not see this matter. Make will not drop an opinion for the comment section after we don't watch this video finish. For me to you for now, bye. What I am totally against is division, tribalism, ethnicity, call it whatever. Division, uh, um, general blaming. I will even give you one. When Fela was being beaten, a lot of people, people will say, ah, if you say Fela is an man, we no go agree. Generalization. Why? Why did he have to be Igbo? Fella was fighting for Africans. Eh, she be na Obasanjo na 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 town man. Growing up in school, my mates too. We be say we used to have. I used to have arguments. She be Obasanjo na Yoruba man too. My school days were very bitter. I was having fights every day, defending my father in school. Growing up as Fella son. So people even just talk to us today, they don't even know the trauma we had as fellas children. And they just, again, they just say, you are not like your father. On that topic again, who voted for Obasanjo in 1999? Then there was no social media, or it was just starting, if I'm very sure, but I can't remember Facebook or anything was existed. So it was the media, international media, and everybody say, Obasanjo is the best person to rule this country. A soldier who is British trained. Do you understand what I'm saying? He's British trained. He's a soldier. Why don't they tell the soldier to take over Britain? Why did they tell the soldier to take over France or America? Remember Connie Powell after he came from the Iraq war? When some people were agitating for him to go and become president of America, he quickly said, no, I'm a soldier. He's a soldier. He's not trained to lead. He's not trained to govern. He's trained to lead war and defend the country. That is his training. Or pass on just training. In the school he went to, is not to lead. He can never be a leader of a nation. He's, a, he's trained to be a warrior, to defend that nation. That is why you have intellectuals. The school of thought is the intellectuals, the people behind the brain, the physicians, the chemists, uh, the uh, mathematicians, they will sit down. The, the people we elect, are they the best brains? What makes them, what makes you think that you, a soldier, have more integrity than the PhD holder. Do you understand what I'm saying? But do, do we blame them? So, somebody like now say, why did they push this man again on us after what he did that Fela even sang about? Did Fela's children support that? They, I was very much in that time and my song, Sorry Sorry, was pushed down the drain. I went to Big Brother then. They abused the hell out of me. I can never forget all those days. Then suddenly, Fela is the most important figure now. Everything Fela, 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 Fela. Then they use Fela against Buhari. They forget they have already voted Fela's worst enemy. Then they don't want to talk about it because they, all, they already, and my song Shoton brings us to there that I told you before, this path we have taken, we are going to enter hell. And it's the same path we have taken. Because they voted for Basanjo, they voted for Yaradua. They, when you are talking of Jonathan, was Jonathan not wanted by the EFCC? How did they put that case quickly under the table? Have you all forgotten that? Oh, they put that case under the table. Then suddenly, because Obasanjo sanctioned him to be vice president, there was, the case died down. As the case of Yabo, his own daughter, that when Obasanjo put EFCC, 
We heard nothing again about the case. And everyone said, ah, he has to go to arrest his daughter. What happened to her? Nothing. So Jonathan now became president. And then they voted Bwari. And then his fellow children again that has to be blamed for their own actions. So I'm just trying to let you see the gravity of our thoughts, that the way we are forced to think. If we are thinking as Africans, this is not how we will think. First of all, nobody will have voted. Or Pastor George will have been like a power that will say, excuse me, nation, my training is to defend the nation. I'm not trained to govern you. He will have resigned that path immediately. But because he's as corrupt in that thought as everybody wanted to rule, he took it. Apparently, again, he wanted to even seek third term. I mean, from what we are reading, so there are so many things we can keep on questioning and I can go on and on. But you see, you're making me rush now. You can hear my home players. But I'm trying to summarize all these things quickly for you. If you had come on time, we will have sat down and this discussion will take nothing less than two hours. You see, I don't talk again. Oshibajo, the vice president comes to meet me. Then automatically they say, I'm supporting him. And I've said it many times in public, even to his own very. I've never supported you, but I only um, answered you because you came directly to... I didn't go to his house, so he came to my house. So because he came to my house, I'm supporting Buari. And when he came to my house, I told you, excuse me, sir, this man jailed my father. There is nothing again I want to hear. My father is dead. But this man jailed my father. So, if you tell me he's a man of integrity, I didn't see the integrity when he jailed my father. Now my father is dead. I cannot be seen to yes, be part I of it. It's not is it only about Fela, the burning of the Asuko. Which federal government has apologized for that? The killing of, let's even forget that, if we can. The killing of Fela's mother. This Kuti family has suffered year in, year out of this government. She died from injuries that she sustained. The, everybody knows this story. Have they apologized? Have they even taken, have they accepted the blame? But then, they keep, again, they keep blaming us. The British already found a way to divide us. The education divided us. And we are still suffering the effects of that. So the school of thought should have been those people that came out of that time should have sat down, understood the damage of slavery and colonization, and that's where the fight was lost. So all this is, what we're all doing now is a lost battle. The British know it's a lost battle. Everybody knows it's a lost battle. If we end up in war anywhere, they are the ones going to supply. Do you have an uh, arms factory here? Who is going to buy the arms? Who? Oh. Uh, uh, okay. To kill who? To kill us or themselves? Whoever stands on the way of the Africa. And if they lose, who? <laughs> Another 60 years to start again. Oh. And that's the way to. Okay. Are you? That is the, really. The, the intellectuals and everybody, all the intelligent people in this country believe that's the way to go. That's what I said. You say headsmen are killing then you generalize that all Hausas are bad. But we have been intermarrying since all these years. There are Igbo people that have married Fulani or Hausa and vice versa. There are a lot of Delta people that have married Yoruba. And when you go into the language, you see there are so much similarities between all of us. Those are the similarities these people saw. But you see this, those colonial mentality, Western-minded Africans that were so brainwashed when they took over independence and they had the chance to rule Nigeria. There was no ideology. They didn't even change the name of Nigeria like Thomas Sankara changed Burkina Faso. There was an ideology. They didn't, Dr. Kwame Kumache Gold Coast he had an ideology. You don't even have an ideology. Now you are thinking of, after all this time, you want to change the name of Nigeria, but with no ideology. What is the ideology behind changing the name? When you want to change the name, sir, what name did you, you, are you all talking about? You are talking of the United Republic of Nigeria. Is that not still English you are speaking? When Ghana changed their name, what did they change it to? Is it an English name? Ghana. A Ghanaian name. When uh, Thomas Ankara changed his name, 
uh, Burkina Faso. He didn't say Loa Kinikon. He did you understand? No, I, they don't. These leaders and these intellectuals, the brainwashing is so bad. And we have not sat down as a people to understand, I'm still saying, and that is a summary of what I said, to understand the gravity of slavery, the gravity of colonization. And when we as a people sit down, we will not be talking about segregation or disunity or cutting up more. We'll be thinking of how do we come out of this crisis of slavery and colonization that after all this time, no Nigerian language, no African language is our main language in this country. I talk to you in English. I'm going to dream in English today. You see, I've identified my problem. I'm suffering from colonialism. I'm suffering of, from slavery. I've identified it. So what I'm saying is, I'm not saying it against you or anybody. I'm first fighting myself that I, yay, ah, why should I, as an African, be dreaming in English? When they want to bring a train to Nigeria, they don't bring those fast trains, no TV, TV, what's the name? Those fast trains in Europe. They bring the ones that they have abandoned that keeps breaking down. So anytime we want to even do anything for ourselves, we bring the most inferior. When we want to bring the meter, we bring the ones that will be breaking down. We do things so terribly out of hatred because we are not thinking for ourselves, for our brothers and sisters. When we travel to England, when we go, oh, I just come back from Jan. We say it to oppress our friends. Oh, my father, I just come back from England. We did it in my time. Do you know what? My father refused to let any of his own children go to Europe. 